we we came into the game pretty much expecting um expecting to choke uh, struggle a little bit offensively. You know, we've been practicing since October 12th. I think we had day 16 of a uh, day number 16 of practice yesterday. And uh, you know, with nine newcomers, I expected you know offensively we we would struggle a bit. Uh, I was disappointed because we've been talking the last two weeks about our de defensive uh, transition, and um, you know that 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 was not where where we um, we needed it to be. And um, also, you know, sitting down and just keeping guys in front of us, they had too many straight line drives in that in that first half that uh, that that really hurt us. Um, but with our, our effort, I'm not disappointed in our effort at all. We um, we we saw saw some things from a lot of guys, saw some things from some guys I didn't didn't expect to see, um, and um, really with this team, I'm not I'm not you know disappointed because you lose any game, but but um, I'm I'm pretty uh, optimistic about this team. Robert Lee, uh, Thoroughbred News. A great start for both you guys. Um, great start for the team. But you guys started to dig yourself into a hole um, towards the middle of the half. What do you guys think you could have done better as a team? And how do you think you guys can translate that into the rest of the season? The main thing we have to do is play better in transition, defensive transition, getting back, rebounding the ball, and also not turning over the ball and letting them get easy runouts and easy dunks and layups to get their crowd into it. So uh, in the future, we need to obviously stop that and stop the bleeding as, as soon as possible. Um, just like uh, Brad, um, B. Hill said, I'm just getting in transition. Um, I think they really was getting a lot of buckets in transition. So just moving forward, we need to match up quicker. I don't think we have a problem. Like like Coach said, it was a lot of straightforward, straight line drives. But I still think we, we, we could have guarded well. But it was really just transition. Like they were just getting out early. So we just got to stop those early. And I think we'll be fine. Um, Brandon Hill, uh, as this is your senior year playing at Kentucky State University, when you graduate, what influence would you like to leave the team with? I just want to be somebody that gave it his all, all the time. And obviously, I want to be more uh, known as more than a basketball player. Obviously, being a great person is the main, main thing for me and leaving an uh, impact and a legacy and leaving a blueprint for the younger guys for them to continue. guys just talk about your experience um, in the Unity Series, both like playing and also just what you took away from it from the different workshops and stuff that you all had? Yeah. Uh, this was a great experience. Not a many people can experience something like this. And then uh, uh, Coach, what's his name? Raveling. Coach Raveling, he, he had a great inspiring story. He told us stories about what he went through uh, throughout his basketball journey. And he kind of, uh, he put knowledge into us basically about being more than a basketball player, like I was just saying. And uh, I really love that about him. And like he said, basketball can take you all across the world. And the main thing you got to do, if, if basketball is the only, only thing you know, you're known for, you, you basically failed. So you want to be some, something bigger than basketball. So it was definitely a great experience. And I want to thank Coach Cal, Coach Jack, uh, everybody behind the scenes that set this up. Um, it was actually very good. Um, just being a kid growing up, watching guys like Tyler Ulis, De'Aaron Fox, um, the Harrison Twins, this is just a dream come true. So I, I definitely want to thank anybody that was behind. Obviously, um, I give my flowers to Coach Jackson every single day, but it definitely was a blessing. Um, we um, got to talk to some of the guys, and some of the guys got good vibes on their side. So it was it was just a, a really like great moment to like and, and realize that I've been dreaming of this my whole life. So to do it, it, it was definitely a blessing. And um, I, won't I, I don't regret anything at all. Coming from um, playing in the William Exum Center to playing in Rupp Arena, did you guys feel any difference in playing in this environment? With me being a returner, obviously I've been here last year, 
it's definitely kind of different. You've got the depth perception and uh, a lot more fans. When um, I haven't played with this many fans ever, so it was definitely a great experience. But at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm fully adjusted to it, so I'm used to it now. So there was no difference. I guess just first off, general thoughts on, on watching Kentucky play, prepping for them, what they're like in person, and, and anything that maybe took you by surprise that they did tonight? Uh, not, nothing really. They, um, I watched them this summer a little bit uh, up in Canada, and they uh, like to you know get to, put the ball on the floor, get to the basket. Uh, we, we knew Reeves was going to be the, uh, the uh, main one putting up a lot of shots. Um, you know, with uh, Mitchell, we, we saw against Georgetown, he's, he's a heck of a shooter. And we knew um, we, we were going to get out, have to get out on him, which we didn't do tonight. But uh, they did exactly what we uh, what we prepared for. We just weren't able able to stop it. But uh, they're going to be a really good team. And you got <laughs> three seven footers who who have aren't even uh, playing right now. So they're going to be a hell of a team come April. Obviously, you got a lot of new faces. Uh, last year's team was a lot of fun, jumping around, flying around, having fun. What do you like about this group that you have this year, and how confident are you that they'll be able to get it together come CAC play? Uh, we'll, I have the utmost confidence in this team. We'll, like, like you said, uh, nine newcomers. We, lo we lost six seniors, 90% of our scoring. So this is the uh, first week in November, uh, 16 days of practice. So I have no, uh, no doubt that we'll be at the top of the uh, conference in scoring. And actually, this team, uh, plays much harder defensively than uh, uh, the team we had last year. So I'm, I'm, I like this group, and I'm, 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 I have the utmost confidence that we're going we're to get it going. Do you believe that going against a D1 team for the beginning of your season is a better preparation for the rest of your guys' season? It's great preparation. This is – I told the guys, this is – this is an NBA game. You got seven, this seven, uh, seven first rounders on on that team. So um, it, it's great preparation. We won't see anything, um, anything like that team in our, in our conference. Um, so not only we, we have UK tonight, we have uh, Southern Illinois Monday, we have uh, Tennessee State next Thursday, we have Western Kentucky uh, later on in, in November. We did that purposely to uh, to get our guys ready for the uh, ready for a very very tough conference season. So uh, we we. We you know take lumps like the, this early, but the guys they they they're in the locker room with their heads up. Um, they understand that that's still early in the season, and they understand that they they come to work uh, every day. We put our 20 miles in, and uh, we'll be exactly where we need to be. Uh, coaches early in the year, what would be your scouting report of this Kentucky team? Ooh, they're fast, and um, you know those. Number four is going. Mitchell is going to cause some problems for, for some defenses. The way he can step out and uh, hit that three, and it's hard to you know provide a scouting report for this team with the with the three big guys out because uh, you don't know what Bradshaw is going to uh, what he's going to give the uh, the um, the big European and uh, uh, Ugona is his name. So with those, add those guys to this mix, they're going to be a hard team to, to score on. Um, but you know Dellingham, he hasn't you know against us in Georgetown, he hasn't played his best. And he's a he's a he's a very very hard guard to stay in front of, and put all those guys around the point guard like Wagner, and they're going to be a a, a a very good team, like I said, in uh in the NCAA tournament. Anyone else? Any questions? All right. Thank you, everybody.